Hey everybody, Ben from Classic Firearms here. I want to tell you today about a great deal that you will not want to miss. This is one of our best deals ever. Every now and again, Classic Firearms will get a tremendous promotional deal from American Tactical Imports. A few months ago, we had some GI 45s and some Tactical 45s. They were the full size in the 1911 styling. They sold out very quickly because of the price point that we had on that promotional deal. This deal, I think, is even better, and I want you to see why. This is the FX45 lightweight. It's called the Fat Boy from American Tactical Imports, 45 caliber, tactical pistol. They call it the Fat Boy because it has a slightly, slightly wider frame than many of your standard 45s, but that is for a very good reason. This pistol carries a full 12 rounds of firepower in the magazine plus one in the chamber. So you have a 13 round compatible 45 pistol in a very small and compact frame. Not only that, it's got a ton of great features. You can see the skeletonized trigger, Novak type sights, beaver tail safety, ergonomic grip. The slide is very smooth, bull nose barrel, Smooth operation as you can see, grip safety, wonderful little pistol, and the price point is unbelievable. Wait till you see where we're able to run these. A couple of hundred dollars less than suggested uh, manufacturer suggested retail. Not only do we like the looks of it, we also like the performance. We got it out here for some live fire exercises. So you know we're not cheating on the ammo. We picked up whatever we had in the warehouse, which was wolf, steel jacket ammo, steel cases, I should have said. So we're gonna be firing wolf ammo through it. And if you'll give us just a moment, we're gonna put some ears in. We're gonna to go to live fire. When we come back, you're gonna to get to see a fat boy firing a fat boy. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. If you've never seen a fat boy shoot a fat boy, watch closely, here's your chance. I love these little ATI pistols. Very smooth. Live fire range is hot. Here we go. Considering the distance we're shooting at, not a bad group. First time out of the box, short barrel pistol. The ATI Tactical Fat Boy. It works great, folks. Shoots good, puts lead on target. Check it out at www.classicfirearms.com. Hey, folks, if you're seeing this now, then you've just watched our live fire demonstration on the ATI Fat Boy pistol. Uh, now I've got a confession to make, and this is a secret, don't tell the boss, but sometimes when we're at the range and we're shooting these videos, after we cut cameras, pack up all the equipment, my cameraman Eric and I will go through whatever ammunition is left and just fire it off down the range. It's fun, we enjoy shooting firearms like everybody else out there. And that's what we did that day. Now in this case, with this little ATI, all we had on the range that day was Wolf steel cased 45 ammo. For our demonstration, the Wolf performed flawlessly. We loaded up a mag, took it to the target, fired it through, and as you saw, it ran all the rounds very well. Unfortunately, when we subsequently fired this pistol, not so much. 
we had a few jams with that wolf ammo. As a matter of fact, it seemed the more dirty that the weapon got with the wolf ammo, the more we had feed issues. Not bad, typically maybe one round per magazine, and in most cases, we just had to bump the slide forward to get around the chamber, but it did give me cause for concern. Uh, knowing that a lot of the smaller frame pistols do not like steel cased ammo, I wasn't terribly concerned. Most all manufacturers will say do not fire steel case through their weapons, but I still wanted to give it another try. So what we did is we came back home, we had already packed up the, for the day, we lost our light. Uh, I did get some PMC brass case 45 ammo, and as you will see in the following video, we went out and torture tested with the brass case ammo. This thing performed beautifully. Fed everything, it loves brass case. I would have no qualms about firing any type of brass case ammo through this pistol. But again, we didn't want to be misleading. Our original test was with the Wolf. After we shot those rounds, we did experience a few jam problems with the Wolf ammo. So I would caution about using Wolf at least for a primary ammo with this weapon. Otherwise, great little pistol, beaver tail safety, very smooth action. As you can see, the skeletonized trigger, Novak type sights, so smooth and a great price point. Don't miss one of these. I hope you enjoy the video that's following this. And of course, as always, www.classicfirearms.com. You just heard us talk about the fact that we didn't really like the way this weapon performed with the Wolf ammo. It was a little bit hit or miss. The dirtier the gun got, the less it wanted to feed it properly. That is not uncommon for steel cased ammo. So what we wanted to do was do another shooting test with brass cased ammo. You can see here, I've got PMC brass cased ammo. We're gonna run a couple of mags through it with the brass case. See if we get a different result. I already have one in the chamber. Let me get my ears in. I have every confidence that this brass cased ammo will make the difference. A lot of your smaller frame pistols do not like steel case ammo. Actually, this one fed it pretty well, but we did have some failure the more we shot. I want to make sure that's not a, a consideration because it's such a nice little uh, 45 caliber handgun. I've already got one in the chamber. So let's get our eyes on. We're gonna run two mags through this one fairly fast, just to demonstrate it with the brass case. And here we go. Oh. Brass case ammo shooting like a house of fire. Drop free mag. Slam another one home. Here we go. Nothing wrong with that. The Fat Boy by ATI. Stay with the brass case stuff. I think you'll be very, very satisfied. As always, for more information, check it out at www.classicfirearms.com.